The global auto industry is going electric. It is an inevitable trend, as major economies in the world are likely to ban the sales of petrol and diesel cars within the next two decades. But it doesn't mean life is getting any easier for those who started as e-car makers. I'm talking about the likes of NIO, Xpeng, and Li Auto. Huawei's recent entry into the e-car race has shaken up the market, pressuring the stock prices of NIO, Xpeng, and Li Auto. That reflected investors' expectations on heating competition in the e-car space, and Huawei is likely to take home a large chunk of the market. Huawei is not yet an automaker. The company says it wants to be an auto supplier to work with auto brands on smart and electric cars. The company has been studying electric mobility and auto technology since 2012. This year, it has started to commercialize the auto parts and solutions it has developed and install them on cars. Its solutions and products range from intelligent driving, battery, to vehicle cloud and connectivity. It has co-created a car with Bayek under the ArcFox brand and will collaborate with Chang'an and GAC Group next. The company said at the Shanghai Auto Show earlier this month that it hoped to integrate China's supply chain resources into its business. Here I want to talk about this company's resilience. Huawei used to be the world's second largest smartphone maker and supplier, but due to Washington's protectionist measures, coupled with many unfavorable factors such as the pandemic, its sales fell year on year. However, Huawei shifted their attention to investing R&D that could hedge against external risks in the future, like its own Hongmeng operating system. The system still has much room for improvement, but it is expected to become a strong competitor of the Android system. Huawei is also working on how to maximize the value of 5G network-related products and solutions. It is also looking at 5.5G networks for future growth opportunities. Huawei has signed more than 140 commercial contracts for the deployment of 5G networks and has 330 million users, including individual users and organizations such as ports, coal mines, factories, and medical centers. Self-sufficiency is Huawei's priority, as the company reiterates over and over again in different media interviews. Analysts say Huawei will play a big role in China's carbon-neutral goals, Huawei will provide customers with more eco-friendly and energy-efficient services and systems. Huawei will also launch two satellites jointly with China Aerospace and China Mobile in July this year. So the market will continue to pay close attention to Huawei's future moves. If the company can prove it will continue to be a sustainable, responsible, and innovative company, the market will reward the firm with reasonable stock prices and good sales and profits.